John Moore once said, no temple made with hands can compare with Yosemite. I was lucky to get to know this magic place. A place where big walls are growing into heaven. Where crystal clear water still changes the face of the landscape. And where deep pine forests give shelter to a large variety of wildlife. I mix with the numerous visitors of the valley and am overwhelmed by so much beauty. But as soon as I left the busy main roads, I discover another unique species. Hidden behind some big pine trees, it has settled around a big boulder. Living in simple dwellings, these special creatures mainly feed themselves liquid. Long ropes seem to be their biggest treasures and like magpies, they love to collect shiny things to wear them as a symbol of strength and power. I can't move, fuck. <laughs> Known as one of the most famous rock climbing destinations worldwide, people from all over the planet come to Yosemite Valley to push their limits at one of many legendary climbing tours. As the moon rises, thrilling tales about climbing are being exchanged at the numerous campfires. That's where I met Craig and Rainbow. Not long after the last fire turns out, they are already getting ready for a big climbing adventure. It's never easy to get up though to do something that's gonna hurt. Yeah. Especially when it's cold out. It's always a little nerve wracking because it's just the commitment of being up on a vertical phase for three days <clears throat> and knowing that it's not going to be uh, easy but hopefully we'll get to our our camp tonight at a reasonable hour and be able to relax and appreciate it the two of them practice big wall climbing a special type of climbing where you have to scramble huge walls within several days their aim is a famous granite wall called el capitan Although they are both very experienced climbers, they already feel the physical pressure of this 3,000 feet cliff. I used to live by, Cal by Yosemite and every single time I see El Capitan still, it blows my freaking mind. It doesn't, it doesn't look any shorter. <laughs> it's freaking huge! <laughs> Like the entire route we're doing up El Capitan is called the Salathe Wall. It's a good idea to protect your hands. You're going to be up there a while and hands will hurt enough even with the tape gloves on. So 
This morning, we're just doing free climbing. We don't have much stuff here. Pretty light rack for being on a wall. <laughs> so this is half of our gear. <laughs> okay. Other half's up high. Got number three Camelot. We got a number six. Just like, <laughs> you know, that big. Huge. Up higher. Our haul bag probably weighs 110, 115 pounds. Okay. Pretty much we're preparing ourselves for some dehydration and hunger. Oh, we do really hard work. <laughs> and and nobody forces you. Mm. So so Yeah, work? that's true. Yeah. Let's let's go home. <laughs> I know. Just, no one for that's a good point. Except our conscious. Our conscience uh, forces us. It's it's the voice in our head that says, This is something we need to do. Just like uh you know, an artist needs to be an artist, or a uh, dirt bag needs to be a dirt bag. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's our, I think it's our form of feeling alive, you know. Um, putting our bodies to the test, and, and, it, and it's, it, it really just adventure, which you often don't get, you know, in, in everyday life. But I don't, I don't know why I do it sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go up. You ever been to the base of this thing? Be yes, aware of rock fall. Oh, yeah. Or actually more commonly, gear fall. <laughs> well, a bunch of people told me, they're like, when you see El Cap for the first time when you drive through that tunnel and you see it it's gonna s scare the shit out of you and he's like no just just be prepared for that he said he's like no matter how much you you prepare for internalizing how big that thing is until you see it you won't comprehend it and sure enough I saw it and like it I almost like broke down because it's been a dream of mine for so long to come here and and here I am, 